Um, all right, we got things are calmed down now. We're a little bit secured. Now uh, we did uh, we did get contacted by PD, um, and then PD uh, stated uh, the officer on the phone to me stated that we were told to leave Friday and that we weren't supposed to be here. Um, that's not true, and we have recordings. Uh, we don't know what's happening, but the Tucson Police Department is now, I don't know, all of a sudden, they had enough manpower to send six people there. Now, we're running scanners, they're chan changing their frequencies, but we notified Tucson Police Department, and this is for me personally, that they cannot come out here. The only one that I will speak with is Captain Schrader from Team One, period. Now, we have everyone calling the sheriff, and we're getting the same response. The sheriff's department doesn't respond to calls in city limits, and that Mark Napier does not come out when someone calls him, or his constituents. I know him, I met him, and there's something wrong when our sheriffs and law enforcement, and nobody wants to come out and, and help us secure. Now, this wasn't some intentional, we were baiting them in, so we do know there's somewhere that we're being watched that we just don't know yet, uh, because they were able to expose the weak side of our perimeter. Remember, we still have to keep improving the property value every day, and we're documenting and recording that. That is for a law that will prevent protect us okay and um, we have our team who has that statute so as long as we're cleaning the property every day and we're improving the value and we've already got a bunch of money spent and bailing wire and everything else and we're able to tabulate that we are spending a ton of money to to even stay out here and improve the property and secure it this property is required I don't know what's freaking them out about it but there is stuff out here guys and look there, he came in and hit us real quick and was trying to sneak back to get to those those tools. And then he's not coming to get the tools. Okay, and look, him and his wife in that nice car and that nice horse, they weren't building that for homeless people. And now this morning they were building it for themselves so they can go lay in there and be cool. And then he says, look, we, we don't know what else to do. We just want everybody to please understand that uh, we've been saying uh, we're on six days now. Okay. When have you ever seen the government of the United States stand down when its citizens mobilize together and they trespass on private property and they bring out long guns, you know, where there's not one militia representative out here. There's not one person out here who's in a militia, you know, and here's the thing is now we're calling on our militias and the militias, you guys know me. Okay. And there's a lot of you that know me and uh, we're friends. So you don't have to pretend like you don't know me no more. All right. You guys know our rules. No, no, no overly zealous religious shit. None of that political shit. None of that stuff that, that we, we weren't going to, we're going to secure and fight the government. We're not going to fight the government. We're going to go fight the people that are smuggling these children. We're going to go search this corridor. There, there is, we believe with what we have, and we've been desperately trying to get the government out here, and we think they know there is an underground network of these things, and we've got a huge area to search. And look, we have people volunteering and coming out. We have people who are privately trafficked it coming out we have experts in the fields out here we have federal employees volunteering for us we have state employees who volunteer for us we have city employees who volunteer for us and you can come out and meet them and these individuals they're taking a huge risk okay so with yeah, that we're going to need america and we're going to need any group that wants to come out any far left or far right group, you're not welcome. Don't come out. We don't want you. We don't want your agenda. You're part of the problem. Every one of you who knows that, that something's not right. Every one of you doesn't want to fight with your neighbor anymore. Every one of you is tired of getting stepped on and stepped on and stepped on. We want you. We want any one of you that, that'll, that'll shake the hand of anyone, no matter what they look like, who they love, who they voted for. We, we, we need Americans that are going to come out here and act like Americans. Okay, and we are asking, and this is an official call out. We we've got enough people surrounded on the perimeter that they can't come in right away. But for some reason, TPD had six units able to up there stop. Um, told a couple of our volunteers without knowing they were volunteers that nobody better come back there because they're going to be in trouble for trespassing. Uh, now we're setting it up in the event they try to lock out our uh, access. And people won't be able to come in to get to us. Now, we have water and food, and our guys are good. And there's still so much areas that they wouldn't be able to lock down. They don't have the manpower. Remember, we got like 300-something acres that is being flooded. And, look, this is just a very small section in the very southern tip of Tucson. This is in our city. So the sheriff's department is right. We are in the city of Tucson city limits. And there's a rape tree out here. Well, there's a few rape trees. And there's camps. Okay? Heavy traffic. And, and and the children paraphernalia and everything we got as it relates to the kids and this is not some 
but this isn't some accident. It was an accident how we found this place, but God's been revealing everything. Uh, we need help because they're, they're, they're good and they're watching and they know how to get in. We don't know what's out here that they're trying to get, but we just got contacted. And I don't know if you're watching, but um, that they have a cadaver dog. Uh, there's a group that has cadaver dogs out here and you don't have to call 911 or have a sheriff's report. So the sheriff's department doesn't want to bring out a cadaver dog. I mean, you've got bone saws and all kinds of stuff that points to there's something not right out here, and they don't want to come out with a cadaver dog. Uh, we have enough, and this isn't something that was planted. Remember, when we originally found this camp, we were recording a video as we were training the ARC street team. The ARC street team goes out after our vets, Alpha Company Team Pulaski, they go out and they disrupt the drug traffic and the drug deals and they try to cut the head off the snake. And while the body rithers, that former addicts, peer support, they come out and they, and they get the addict off of the street. We've been running a very technical, tactful operation. And, and just between ARC and VOP, when we teamed up and partnered a mo over a month ago, we already added like 30-something people that scum off the streets or attempted to get in the detox, okay? Uh, we... <laughs> And we came across this by accident and we were searching for homeless vets. So we think God wanted us to see it. Now, if we weren't doing the right thing, I want to tell you something, we're blessed and we're very grateful, even the Arizona Dream Center. There are organizations um, because, you know, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm what they call a radical pastor, all right? Uh, I'll swear, I'll get angry and I'll use my righteous right hand in the event. I, I don't turn the other cheek um, every single time. And sometimes I have, uh, but I'm honest. And the thing is, is I used to walk with the devil and there's no one better equipped to defeat him. So, I mean, and I've been seeing, you know, I, I know my God and I know what he's doing. And ever since we've started this, we've seen evil go away, try to sneak in and God's been flooding us. Okay, uh, TPD was upset because we got generators and extra pop-ups and, and infrastructure. Now listen, all of our equipment is mobile. We have a huge area to clean. So we're popping up different sections around out here so we can get it clean. And it's gonna take us time, unfortunately, to get this project clean. But we're offering is free security for any fencing crew that wants to come in and fence this property off. And it's a lot of fencing. But they haven't done anything to come down and secure all this evidence that specifically ties children to rape trees, underground prison cells. And we would, we're not going to want to go from Tucson all the way down south of the border and search I-10. We don't like making big promises like that. But guess what? We're going to go. And we're going to fly over every area along the I-10 corridor. And we're going to look for everything that we know to look for now. And we're going to take the intelligence of a witness we have under our watch that the government doesn't want to come out and talk to apparently we're going to we're going to keep going and we're going to keep pushing okay and we are letting the children know and this thing is i don't care what people say about the the, the government's abandoned okay this area the government's basically just said a foreign terrorist group and the cartels and the gangs can do whatever they want out here and america you need to get off that soil you're trespassing that's the stance from the government. We don't want to come out with forensics teams and look at everything that's out there. We don't want to pull out these underground cells. We don't want to investigate this because of certain Catholic parishes, certain banking intel, there are certain property things. Like We have very good people that are going through, and we're trying our best, and we're doing a very good job. I've even informed my staff. We record everything. We're going to give everyone accurate information. We're not going to speculate. We're telling you what we know. We believe that they've been doing this longer than four months, but we only have four months uh, of paperwork, four months ago, receipts that tied to that camp. So the individual, we do know the individuals who were, ra we were raping these kids, one of them. Okay. We, we, do, we need people to come out and help. And there have been hundreds that are coming out. And the thing is, we have enough people in our own city that we feel confident enough that if they try to move against us, it is a no win. We don't want to fight. Okay, the only ones we want to fight are the ones that are getting away with what they're doing. And a child is a child. Okay, and every time you steal the innocence of a child, you just feed the darkness that much more. And we want to protect our, our kids. I've got a nine-year-old kid. Most of these people out here, even the employees who work for the federal government in the state and the city, they have children. That's the common that's the common thing. And if you have a child and you don't think it's okay for a small child to be stuffed underground and dragged out tied to a tree and raped and all this time, that little sick playground and stuff for the ones that are cooperating and lashings and beatings and rape for the ones that don't 
don't look these things exist these rape trees they're all over the border and some of them they throw the article of clothing each time a piece of clothing each time they rape a child or woman or they rape an old woman okay this sick perversion is in our city, in our city limits, no one wanted to come out. No one's wanted to touch this. We're on day six. We don't know where this pedophilia goes. And we're not going to speculate because there's enough different things out there. We don't really know what to believe, but we know there's something there. Okay? And we know there's something here. So we need people to come out. We we just need people to come out. We, we're, we're, we're still cleaning. The original agreement that we have code enforcement and TPD down was that once we've stripped down the camp and once we've cleaned out all the camps, and that's an original agreement we recorded. Now, on that recording, we do have an undercover officer. Now, those recordings are sent only to our church members on a, on a private page. Uh, we are in a situation now. People that want to come. Uh, until we can make that video public, we will show you the video. Uh, we're asking everyone, VOP family, just to keep, you know, for the end of the day. Um, I know that officer, and uh, you know, he does work narcotics, and and I don't want to see, I don't want his face out there either. Uh, it was just unfortunate that they're so short staffed. Yet, uh, yet the other day, that or just two days ago, we made the agreement, you know, and the agreement was. And this was made with the management who was leasing, the property management who was leasing this, okay? The Mexican mining company. Okay, Miss Robles. And by the way, yeah, we're, we're looking into you too, ma'am. And if you guys are paying attention, we're doing our best to look. Because there ain't none of your... We've been occupying a uh, uh, property that you're paying a 30-year lease for and none, none of you have come up. Besides you. And your story didn't even makes sense to the uh, Tucson Police Department officers. And I'll say it. And we've got live recording videos uh, that there's so much going on and there's just, there's too much. You have to come out and see for yourself. All right. If you're coming out to try to take a life, you're coming out with the idea that you're going to target immigrants or something like that, then uh, let me tell you something. The families and the people out here, they'll get rid of you fast. You bring any hate or nonsense out here, they'll get rid of you fast. Okay, we have a network of underground cells that are going from here all the way down to the border, and that's a huge area. And as far as we're concerned, we're going to treat it like there's a hundred kids somewhere, a hundred women somewhere, because it's a huge area, and it's a long search. We've asked, you know, our, our, our declaration. We've asked our the sheriff has the authority right now, guys, to declare a, a county state of emergency. Because the government stood down. The pattern of behavior, since when does the federal government stand down? You know, the only time they were ever forced to was at Bundy Ranch. And for those of you who don't remember, when the Oath Keepers left and Jerry DeLamis and all them left and the remaining guys voted me in as their commanding militia officer... Okay, I was the one who ordered all the snipers off the rifle. I was the one who ordered people to switch over the cities. I was the one who ordered rakes, barrels, and shovels. I was the one that said, we're going to get people out here camping on public lands, improving the public lands, and we're going to be helping the ranchers. We're not going to stand here with a gun and not do nothing with the property. You know, that that's, that's just not the way we're going to do it. And then those radicals set me up, forced me out. So Ryan Payne and them, uh, yeah, and you guys can research this, okay? They did everything they could to get me out, all right? We don't support anybody that wants to come out and hurt and kill other Americans. But if you want to come out and help us rescue children, and, and I, I know in my heart we're going on the right path, and, and I, they're afraid because none of this makes sense. They, they come down and talk to the federal employees. None of this makes sense. They're asking the sheriff to come out here, and he doesn't respond to calls in the city limits. That's bullshit. They've responded to help us before. That is everything they're telling us. None of this makes sense. We don't know, and the fact that we don't know, it, it, it makes a lot of people nervous. <clears throat> I'm old in faith, uh, but when you got a bunch of people around you that are starting to get concerned because the very people they thought always had their six all of a sudden is they're leaving them out here and their own testimony their own work their own actual eyewitness testimony of how we operated what we've done what we've uncovered that's not good enough that's that doesn't make sense you have state employees city employees federal employees you know they don't care there are people that are shedding their job identities because they have kids
at this point, we are sending a call out to our bikers to please be on standby. We got plenty of bike space. And if they try to set up a jersey barricade or something, they're going to have to bring an extra one to keep bikes from coming in and out of here. All right, so we are calling on our bikers to please be on standby. Uh, as of right now, if they come in trying to move us as they're coming in, we have enough people on the outside that's going to come in behind them. You know, and so it, it, that's the position we got to take. But we will just climb and occupy this giant cement tower. Oh, we'll shackle ourselves to it until yeah. come out here and help us. We're trying to do this every peaceful way possible. None of our guys are going to point our guns at a law enforcement officer, another American. Now, yes, they raised their rifles at that guy that came out that built that camp that said him and his wife just wanted a, a little place to go. And for look, everyone knows he's lying. He's changed his story multiple times. They're desperately trying to get out of here. The perimeter is extremely large. We could literally have a 5,000 unit out here and still have space. That's how big this area is that's been handed over to the cartels. They're operating indiscriminately out here, and there are trackers, there are professionals that'll tell you what they've seen, what they saw, and we are dead on the money. There is intelligence coming from other areas that we've also hit a major dope. And then we've got grounds that are holes in the ground, lined with cement blocks, piece of plywood over it, and they cover it with dirt, stash boxes. I mean, everything we have points to it, and no one wants to come out and see it. And this isn't something that you can stage. This goes far back more than four months. We're being honest. We're only showing you what we can prove with a physical receipt and other paperwork. But we also have an eyewitness. And if you're going to believe that person's testimony like we do and everything that person's told us is checked out and that person told us in two areas where we were going the wrong way. You know, we thought one of the stash houses um, was where uh, people that are crossing over were just throwing their trash. But he actually took ownership for one of them. He said, no, those that's my stuff. They don't come over here. They stay on this side, you know. And so we were able to pull over off of that side because that's not the pattern. They, they, they stay on the side we are. Apparently we're on the cartel side of this wash up here. And the homeless are over on there on the other side. Now, there's only uh, one homeless individual left out here. Um, and he, we, he was over here yesterday. You know, we got a guy. He is a veteran. He's been out here for two years. Um, he doesn't want to go into housing. He's tried it. He has an income. He doesn't need money. He doesn't need, he doesn't need people to feel sorry for him. He's a great old guy. He's an honest guy, and he looks around. And, you know, we do understand that there's maybe some confusion here or there with AIDS, but he's coherent enough. And so far, everything he's told us, and our guys know certain things when people say they see stuff. And they see those as clues and signs, and then they go and investigate that. And each little piece, we go and check. Okay, um... We're dead on. Something's not right. We're asking everybody to please, if you can, contact the sheriff. Because the fact that they're telling us that the sheriff doesn't respond to court, we're his constituents. Hey, Mark, we voted you in. You understand that? You were voted in. We're your constituents. And it's not just our church, our ministry, and veterans on patrol out here. And there's a big coalition being formed. There's already 16 organizations tied in. And guess what? They're not left or right. They're in the center for the kids. OK, we're not going to argue about the, the, the Hispanic community knows without a doubt that we're going to go out there and save their babies because most of these children that are trafficked through these corridors, these families have to give up one of their child till they get to the other side and they can pay the coyote the rest. And while those childs are in holding tanks, you end up with some sick pervert who runs rape trees like this. And then dozens of children are raped and raped and raped. OK, Screaming in our deserts, on our side of the soil, children are screaming out right now. Little children are crying underground, and we can't hear them. And they're doing everything they can to keep us bottled in. We're, we're stuck. The most we can do is fly our drones. We've got nine locations we need searched in this area immediately, but we're trying to lock down the perimeter. We've got a cartel watching us that keeps invading, coming in, trying to dig up stuff. We've got law enforcement standing down, but now they're out there trying to discourage people from coming back here. They don't want no one to come back here. Okay, and we've been recording everything live and documenting as much as possible, and none of this is being made up, and there are like 300 something locals now that have been given tours and we're showing everyone so understand uh for those of you that, that's in this little chess match and you're trying to get rid of us our neighbors our immediate neighbors the people in our community there's enough of us out here that we represent a majority of this community in this city and we have a huge huge larger than anyone else support base from the hispanic community 
we're the ones out here taking the risk, holding off the federal government and everyone else because now we're in a standoff with them because they haven't come out to do anything. We don't trust them. At this point, if we run out of trust for the sheriff, then guess what? Our Constitution doesn't mean anything to them, and we don't have no constitutional protections because the sheriff's refusing to invoke his constitutional authority to get his guys out here with cadaver dogs and to take what we found seriously and to listen to his constituents. What does an American do? When the Constitution, which gives you these rights, and you're trying to exercise these rights for the sake of saving children, pulling women who are being trafficked and raped, and, and just securing. And we're not going out there trying to target the any illegals crossing over. We want the ones, we, we, we want the predators. Okay, the sheepdogs want to go after the wolves because they're tired of the wolves slaughtering our lambs. Okay, we're, we're tired of it. All right, there's some sick stuff out here. And, and it's had grown men... It's had, it's had some of us grown men just, we, and we're, we're on them. Um, it's high emotions because there's children involved. And the fact that, that there's not a million Americans out here right now, we're calling on every family. If your child is missing, we have dozens of, we have stuff, we have jewelry, we have books, we have, I mean, come out here, we'll show you, okay? If you got a little boy or girl, there's plenty of shoes. You can go through everything that's sitting over there that the government doesn't want to touch, and if you find anything that ties your child to it, you work with us. You give us every piece of information you gave them, because they ain't looking. They won't, they, they ain't looking. They won't even come out and look at this underground prison cell. They're not looking for your kids. We'll do it. We'll do it for free. And we don't care what your kid looks like, where your kid came from. We don't care if you were desperate to get over here and you had to give a bad guy your kid. We don't care. At the end of the day, it's your child. And we'll protect your child as much as we'll protect ours. We're not going to argue no more. Bad guys cross our border. They hurt our kids. Okay? But they're also hurting the children that are crossing this border. So for the sake of argument, we're going to set aside all the nonsense, and we're going to go out there, and any woman or child that's being trafficked, we have corporate, not corporations, but organizations lined up to help us take them in, and we're providing safe places ourselves. We're going to go take care of the ones who are being victimized and tortured while the rest of you dumbasses argue about left, right, and we're going to go all the way with all this wall stuff, or we should have a completely wide open. No. We're taking a common sense, middle ground approach. And we want the Hispanic community to know and anyone who has missing children to know that there is enough out here. And since the, the, the government doesn't didn't want to come, we don't trust the government no more. OK, we're on day six. So you come out, you look at this. And if any of that matches your stuff to your kids, give us everything that you can. And if your child's being held right now, get this word out. Someone repeat this in Spanish. Let 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 them know if your child's being held right now. You come let us know, and we'll go look for him. And we'll take that risk. And we know the cartels can set us up, but we got God. We got faith, okay? Matthew 5, 9, it's the first. We work in rules of three. That calls us. Psalms 91 protects us. Read those. And Psalms 35 defeats them. And if we weren't doing the right thing, God wouldn't be flooding us with the exact equipment we need to do our job. The only thing we're missing is boots. And, well, we're scattering seeds right now all across of America. And we're hoping a lot of them end in fertile soil and people will reach down in their hearts and understand that we have little kids. A possible, I'm not even going to say, I'm going to say probable, most likely. Yeah, I know we're going to find plenty of underground cells going down here. The area is huge, and we're trying to isolate and pinpoint with the intel we have. The government has far more resources, but our people are far more willing to go out there and do it. And some of them are trained and very good at it, but they could use help. We want any American veteran right now. You know what? You haven't had purpose. You've been treated like you were shit since you came back. Well, look, we love you, and we got a bunch of your veteran brothers and sisters out here helping lead this operation and taking care of all the security-related stuff because there's no one better else to protect us than the veterans. We want you to come out and join your brothers and sisters because a majority of you in the veteran community, you don't care about the race, religion, political nonsense. A majority of you are just going to do the right thing, and if you know something's wrong, you're going to do the right thing, and if you walk away, you know, that's you know, we're not going to have people walking away saying these are a bunch of crazy idiots because there's going to be someone that every American can relate to out here because right now we're the melting pot. And we have people from all over, from almost every ethnicity, every background. And the one thing bringing us together are these children crying out in the desert. Help us uncover and isolate. Help us get these children. Help us go down. And, and, and we got so much to search. Good news is we got about four hours sleep. So uh, and like we weren't prepared for that. We didn't bait them in. 
they know when we're weak and they know when our recruits are out in another area, you know, and um, TPD now seems more concerned with uh, trying to go out there and harass our people that are coming out than they were with coming out here to help us. And unfortunately, uh, and this is something that uh, we never anticipated or expected, but we're going to have faith in our God and listen to our gut and, and what we know and see for fact out here what hundreds have come out and seen for themselves and we're going to also listen to our neighbors who are telling us don't go and we're not listening to the people across america who are saying stay 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 because i'm gonna be honest most of you aren't gonna do nothing but armchair quarterback or clap your hands in this all right but our immediate neighbors is our protection they're going to be a jury of our peers in the event the government tries to come and and, and target us as terrorists because we're targeting terrorists who target children now we're the domestic terrorists because we're saying we'll take any woman or child and we'll take them to safety regardless of legal status. And we're the domestic terrorists. We're taking a middle ground because everyone won't stop fighting about all this nonsense. And while you guys are fighting, there are children crying in the desert. Hashtag, children crying in the desert. Well, if everyone shuts up and it gets quiet, maybe we can hear them. Maybe we can hear them because we got the equipment and we got bodies. And look, our team will go. You have our commitment. You have the people's commitment out here. We will go and push and push and we will search every square inch along the corridor of the map we posted for Operation Backyard Brawl. And there's going to be enough bodies if you guys come out. And the one thing that's going to scare the cartels and push everyone about is a lot of people. And you know what? The bad stuff's just going to displace, but we're not going to be having children traffic it in underground prison cells and, and rape camps along our corridor, and it's in our city. And they don't want people to come out and see how far north it is. They don't want people to come out and see how, where we are, exactly connection. We can see our city right there, the downtown skyscrapers. We are in city limits. And if there's an underground section out here with multiple camps, what the hell? You think they haven't come all the way up? We need your help. Please come out and help. You ain't got to have faith in us. You ain't got to believe in us. You got to have faith in God and you got to believe in God and believe in yourself. And once you get out here, you're not going to, we haven't had anyone walk out of here so far. Where are they at? Where are all these people walking out with live videos saying we're lying? Where are all these people saying we're lying, making it up? You know, come, come see for yourself. Uh, federal government's not allowed out. Tucson Police Department, only Captain Schrader, and we're still demanding our sheriff to do his job and listen to his constituents and come out here. Um, and we have congressional candidates that run, and we have people that are actually running for office to try to help stop this corruption and get everyone to stop fighting so we can take care of these kids. Martin Apier, you're our sheriff. You're elected, okay? You've seen our declaration. We're asking you to declare a countywide state of emergency and to hold off any interference from the federal government and federal government uh we're just we're telling you right now if you start all of a sudden showing interest and come in and try to do everything you can to stop us because we're not leaving and we're searching this whole area until we find whatever it is they keep penetrating to come and dig up because they already got in once and dug a hole you know and when we came back there was a hole in the ground it was a fresh hole something got pulled out of that ground and you better hope it wasn't some little child cut up into pieces in a trash bag and we find that out later I. We want, we do got cadaver dogs, guys, so keep praying. If you can get out here, look, and don't take no money. There's no money involved. If someone's raising money and saying they're getting us supplies, look, you, you tell them, demand proof. You tell us, contact us. You're going to raise money and get supplies? That's the only thing we'll escape? 100%. You don't take 1%. You don't take a cent. If you send 100% material support, we'll accept it. We'll use it to go after finding these children and rescue these women and kids down here, regardless of their legal status, where they came from. You know, a majority of them are going to be trying to get up here. You know, a majority of those children are Hispanic babies. And the Hispanic community knows that, and they're helping us. And we have former people who were actually in jail for trafficking, who ran with coyotes, women who were used by these guys, out here helping us. We have a plethora amount of intelligence to go off of. We are short on boots. Please get out here to help us. Just please get out here to help us. we got to get to work.